The symbol Xc is used for capacitive reactants. The formula for capacitive reactants is 1 divided by 2 pi Xc. This is 1 divided by 2 times 3.14 times the frequency times the capacitance. A higher frequency or higher capacitance value will generate more capacitive reactants. So what do all these numbers mean? Well, because capacitive reactants and inductive reactants can cancel each other out, if they are equal, we will have a tuned resonance circuit. With a Tesla coil, a tuned resonance circuit will also cause a huge boost in voltage. In a resonance circuit, the energy is continuously alternating between the magnetic field around the coil and the charge in the capacitor. If we look at the formula for inductive reactants again, we can see that there are two ways to change the amount of reactants with either the frequency or the amount of inductance. Inductance is determined by the size of the primary winding and the number of turns in the winding. So one way of tuning a Tesla coil is by adding or removing turns in the winding. More turns means more inductance and fewer turns means less inductance. For capacitive reactants, we can also see by the formula that reactance is determined by the frequency and the amount of capacitance. So again, we can change either the frequency or the amount of capacitance. In a spark gap Tesla coil, the frequency and capacitance in the primary circuit can be affected by the spark gap. If the gap is set close, it will allow a spark to pass earlier, discharging the capacitor at a lower charge and at a faster rate. So a small gap will cause a higher frequency but lower capacitance in the primary circuit. If the gap is set wider, it will allow the capacitor to charge longer but discharge at a slower rate. Of course this is happening at fractions of a second and there may be several thousand charge and discharge cycles per second. The catch is that to have a resonant circuit we need to have capacitive reactants and inductive reactants to be balanced. Therefore we need just the right spark gap setting to allow the capacitor to charge and discharge at the right frequency. We need the right amount of inductance and the right amount of capacitance. The secondary circuit also has inductive and capacitive reactants. Inductive reactants comes from the secondary winding and capacitive reactants comes from the output terminal or top load. A terminal with more surface area and volume will have more capacitance. However, one common mistake a lot of people make is to assume that a bigger top load is better. This is not always the case. Remember, the goal is to have just the right amount of capacitance. We want to imbalance inductive reactants and capacitive reactants. If there is too much terminal capacitance, the circuit won't be in balance and we won't have resonance. If the top load is too big, it can actually result in very poor output from the Tesla coil. Getting inductance, capacitance, and frequency to be balanced is known as tuning the Tesla coil. One of the most common ways of tuning is to adjust the inductance in the primary winding. This can be done by adding or removing turns in the winding. Start with a higher number of turns, maybe 10 or 12 turns, and in one by one take off turns and test the Tesla coil each time to see if there is any improvement in the output. Making small adjustments in the spark gap can also help to tune the Tesla coil. One very important thing to remember is that the spark gap has to fire smoothly. If the gap is set too close, it will get hot and allow a spark to pass too early. This closes the circuit prematurely and the capacitors won't have a chance to charge and discharge properly. Instead of a high frequency oscillation, you may also just end up with a 60 Hz arc from the transformer. This is also another reason why you don't want the transformer voltage to be either too low or too high. If the voltage is too low, you will have to set the gap very close in order to get a spark to pass. But this will heat up the gap and cause it to conduct too early. Again, the spark gap may get stuck and cause a 60 Hz arc to pass from the transformer with no capacitance. If the voltage is too high, it's easier for a spark to pass and again this won't allow the capacitor to charge and discharge properly. The gap will have to be set very wide and this affects the frequency and tuning of the entire circuit. For these reasons I recommend using a transformer with a voltage no lower than 6000 volts but no higher than 15000 volts. Let's review some basic tips for building and tuning a Tesla coil again. A Tesla coil works with resonance. The goal is to balance inductive reactants and capacitive reactants on the primary and secondary circuits. The transformer voltage should not be too low or too high, no lower than 6000 volts and no higher than 15000 volts.
One way to tune the tesla coil is by adjusting the inductance on the primary circuit. Try to add or remove turns on the primary winding and see how this affects the output. Bigger isn't always better. Don't use too much primary or secondary capacitance. You don't want the capacitors in the primary circuit or the top load on the secondary circuit to be too big or the circuit won't be in tune. Now in the last section, let's take a look at a diagram using a midpoint grounded neon transformer. In this diagram, the tesla coil works with the same principles, but the wiring is a little different. In this case, we have two high voltage output terminals from the transformer. So the main difference is that here the primary winding of the tesla coil will be connected across the terminals of the transformer instead of one end being grounded. As before, the spark gap switch goes in series with the primary winding and the capacitor is connected in parallel with the transformer before the spark gap switch. The other difference is that the safety gap will have three points. The outer two points will be connected to the transformer terminals and the middle point will be grounded. Well that about covers it. Have fun and be safe and hopefully this helps you to get the sparks flying.